Mysore has long been known for its royal palaces and educational institutions. Today, this city, a few hours' drive from Bangalore, is fast emerging as a new hub for information technology. To ensure that the city remains livable while it grows, Mysore is actively promoting a sustainable public transport system. For this, the Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation, KSRTC, has used new technology to transform its city bus services into a modern, safe and efficient system. Earlier, buses often drove rashly, were seldom on time or skipped stops entirely. No one knew which bus was where, not even the bus company itself. Today, each city bus is constantly tracked through GPS-enabled mini-computers installed above the driver's seat. From here, the bus's speed and coordinates are instantly relayed to the central control room, where a giant screen displays whether the bus is on time, late or early. Earlier, no one knew where the bus is. Now today, I can run the whole show sitting here in the control room. Now, buses are punctual and 85% of Mysore's public buses arrive and depart within five minutes of their scheduled time. Skipping of bus stops has reduced to a fifth. At over 160 bus stops across the city, computer-generated screens display the arrival time of the next few buses. Updates can also be had online or through mobile phones. It says his, the time of the bus, so we can decide if we can walk or we can catch the bus at our uh, convenience. Constant monitoring has helped women passengers feel safer. It is monitored somewhere, someone are looking after us, we feel somewhat secure. What's more, the roads are safer. The central control room records each time a driver accelerates or brakes sharply. Importantly, an indicator flashes whenever a bus is speeding, enabling the operator to warn the errant driver. With drivers being more careful, speed and traffic violations have reduced to a third, and the number of fatal accidents is down to almost half. When the city first mapped its bus routes and stations, it came in for some big surprises. While their records showed that they had 600 stops in all, they found they actually had four times that many. Then, the actual time taken for a bus to complete a trip was not the same as the schedules they had been following. Correcting these differences has benefited both passengers and bus operations. Today, it takes fewer buses and less fuel to cover the same distance as before and overtime payments have also reduced. However, introducing the new technology was only a small part of the effort. The major challenge lay in implementation. I can say that this technology participation is about 30% in success rating. 70% is mainly the challenging job of implementation. One of the difficulties was that both staff and drivers resented this constant monitoring. They thought that some new system is going to come, which will replace them. One, two, they thought that this new system will also keep a kind of surveillance on them. So we are starting, you know, uh, taking our people on board. In time, the drivers realized that the records could protect them as the traffic police started using the data to resolve accident cases. With a safer, reliable and more efficient bus service, Mysore has shown the way to other Indian cities. Public transport can be, you know, really a game changer in India. 
so far we talk it is meant for poor people but we want to remove the word poor it should be a public transport for public for the people of the country